first uploaded tonight. Return E to BBC Upload. Bethany Sullivan with gold just as she's back. She's in there. Hey, oh, actually, oh, actually, sorry, Bethany, before we, we dive back in and catch <laughs> up again, can I put a call out for a, a little request? Because I sometimes get a little uh, inspired by some of our uploaders and think, oh, it's nice to have someone who's doing this for the very first time on upload. And it made me think, because we're talking ukulele tonight, who, and if, if there's someone who recreates video game theme tunes on the glockenspiel, <laughs> Could you upload some for me? Uh, yeah, I know it's, a, it's quite a niche call out, that one. I'll be honest. <laughs> if you play the glockenspiel, I'm willing to expand the thing that far. In fact, if you make anything, bbc.co.uk forward slash upload to share it with us, and we will share it with the rest of the county. Uh, Bethany is back. Hi, Rob. Another ukulele song to play with us tonight. But firstly, thank you for the upload, Bethany. How are you? I'm really good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, really good. Thank you. It's lovely. It's a nice end of the week, and we get to talk ukulele again, which yes. is fantastic. Um, subject. When we spoke last time, you told me you had six hundred and three, <laughs> six hundred and four ukuleles. Yeah. Um, uh, and you're constantly sort of looking for more to buy and get your hands on <laughs> such. Um, one of the things that you know, I know because I've been you know, looking at your Instagram page where you share a lot of videos as well, uh, and we can give that a little bit of plug in a second. Um, at peaches and covers. <laughs> Is, have you ever tried to learn a song on the ukulele where you kind of realise, I don't know if this works? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I thought it might be the answer, but I wanted to ask the question quite delicately. Yeah. Because I, I, I'm imagining amongst <laughs> everyone who's ever tried to do a cover of a song, sometimes you, you think, oh, I'd love to do a cover of that. You yeah. try and like, Oh, this just isn't working. It's so it? disappointing. There's definitely a way. Like, I'm sure people who are more talented can definitely find a way. But songs with, like... I, like I love Adele but her songs are kind of like single piano chords so it's like dun, dun. or like you know like Ruth B Lost Boy right that is such a good song and it's like dun, dun, dun. like how do you do that on an ukulele like <laughs> unless you yeah, redo it of your own and like do finger picking or something and literally make it your own yeah you need a bit of imagination I, I, I guess yeah it's it's when you do a cover as well, I guess when you when you do a cover, you want it to be recognisable. Yeah. As well, that, that that's kind of the purpose of doing it yeah. is that you want to you want to put your your personality into that version, and you want it some you want to make it yours, but it has it still has to be true to the original. Yeah. Song yeah. For people to feel like they know it enough and be like, oh, this is a really clever interpretation of the yeah. of song that I I know really well. Because it is actually quite a big thing, isn't it? Like to. I don't know, I, th- I personally think to enjoy a cover, I enjoy covers most when I know the song and I'm like grooving along to it and I'm like, I know this song, this is this is really good version, like I can see how you've done it and I'm like figuring it out myself, like yeah, but like sometimes, sometimes I will play song, covers of songs that I personally like and I know for a fact when I'm putting it out there, maybe like one person is going to know this song and I'm kind of like I don't really care because I personally like it okay now I need, now I need to know some examples come on give me some okay, examples okay I think I think it was my latest upload The Gardener by Tallest Man on Earth I don't I don't I think I had one one of my friends was like I love this song this is a really good song and I'm like I'm so impressed that you've even heard you of it know, you even know what I'm talking about <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> does that just, does it, I mean, as an artist, like, how, how do you feel about that? Like, do, do you try to try to bring your own, you know, musical loves yeah. to to what you do as well? Because there is a fine, as you say, the fine line of of being recognisable or true to the original is one thing, but actually doing a cover of a song which most people probably haven't heard because maybe it's a, a sort of smaller artist, an artist mm. not quite as well known. Um, there's, there's almost sometimes danger is the wrong word, but it's the, word, the only word I think of. The <laughs> danger is that people start thinking, "Oh, it's your song," because yeah. they have no no idea that it's actually a cover or that they've ever even that's, heard of. That's only dangerous when like the copyright try and come after you. <laughs> yeah. Otherwise, it's like this is definitely my song. I am a genius. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you obviously you, you obviously got a nice eclectic mix of music, and you like finding stuff that's maybe not necessarily the, yeah. the sort of the, the stuff you hear on the radio. Like you know, one of the things we pride ourselves doing on the evening show is bringing some music from an artist you haven't heard from for a while in the last hour of the show. Um, so tonight, you know, you, artists that you you kind of you hear a song by them, and you're like, yeah, whatever happened to 
last time it was Shaggy. Like, whatever happened to Shaggy? Yeah. Since 2001, it wasn't, it, it, yeah, it wasn't me. It was 2001. Yeah. That's 20 years ago. What's he been up to for 20 years? Well, the Where answer is been? He's, been making, he's been making music all the time. It's not like he didn't take really a break. And yet, you know, you don't hear it on the radio, so you just sort yeah. of assume they, they, One they're not making it or, or whatever. And, yeah. and so a lot of the time, that's not the case. Um, but for you, you obviously like finding other other artists. Yeah. Um, who, who else are you liking to listen to at the moment? Who, who are you uh, listening to? Do you know what? Not? Lately, I've really gotten into, like, the blues, because I'm a big lover of, like, folk music okay. and that sort of um, style. I think... I got get a lot of inspiration from people like Nora Jones. I think because I grew up listening to her, I think I kind of base maybe my voice because because you kind of do when you when you're like learning to sing. I guess you kind of personally I learned by kind of parroting and you kind of copy like oh that they go up here they go at this point and then they do this and that sounds good so I'm gonna do that too. So yeah, but but I have discovered like true blues and I'm like. Ah, oh, where have you been all my life? Because it's because it's the the mother of jazz, of soul, of folk, of rock and roll, and it's pretty much every genre. Every genre, popular. and you're like, this is the best thing since sliced bread. But there's so many awesome artists, and they do it in such a style that I am like itching to be able to cover a song. But I'm like, I just I just can't like. I just can't do this justice or like this isn't my style because it's electric -y and it's and it's you know like sexy and it's gravelly and it's like I can't this isn't my style I am quite soft but, <laughs> voiced no, see, see, I, think, I think you might hit upon an absolute niche here in that you've got blues ukulele yes blue ukulele blue ukulele blue ukulele needs to be a thing you can okay. play slide on on ukulele you can exactly. do it so yeah, I, I just think, you know because we we I've said it a few times this week as well. I know I've, I've mentioned it quite a lot recently, but we are we are in such a rich time for music and in art in general because the ability for people to share their art with, with the help of the internet and social media has grown so much mm. that um, the, you know, anyone can make stuff and and there, there's a lot of stigma around like bedroom you know DJs or you know sort of you know, home <laughs> home painters and things like that, but actually. You know, years ago, you had to have a studio. You had to have you know, a garage space where you could play with your band. And yeah. actually, nowadays, you don't even have to do that. You can do it all online. You can be in separate buildings. You can be in separate countries and make some art together. Yeah. Uh, and that's a that's I love a that. thing. Yeah. Um, so, so, so it's hard to find something original, but you might yeah. have hit on the, the thing that doesn't exist yet, <laughs> and that's blue ukulele. Blue ukulele. I bet you it exists. Is there much in this world that doesn't hasn't already been done? <laughs> well, look, so I, I surprised myself a few years ago when I, I tried to look up on the internet how many hundreds and thousands there are in a little pot. Because I thought, well, <laughs> surely, surely someone surely someone's wow. counted it. But, how bored were but, you? <laughs> Well, I'll put it, put it this way. I was bored enough to look up the answer and see if it was on the internet. Yeah. There was no answer on the internet, what? so I counted. You did not. I did. 22,643. I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm not, sure, I'm not sure if I'm impressed or, like, shedding a little tear for you. No, no, no it's, it's definitely sad. It's absolutely the saddest thing ever. But, you know, when, you're, when you're a student and you're coming out of university and you've not got a lot else to do with your time, you're like, well, yeah. I'll make a creative quirky video <laughs> anyway enough of that um it, it you know it's, it's lovely that you know you sometimes try stuff and it doesn't work was yeah. which song which song were you most hesitant about trying but did anyway and it, and it came off really well Ooh. oh do you know what i'm not i'm not this is really lame but i'm not much of a risk taker <laughs> but saying that I and I haven't recorded it for like for this reason because it's risky. Um, but Beyonce is so much fun to sing. Obviously, like I can't get anywhere near the range that that lady has got because she's incredible. But um, I think I can play Halo on the on the ook and it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh um, I'm just going to do this right now. I'm <laughs> requesting this one to appear in the upload folder. Okay. When, in good time. When you're ready. <laughs> I, you know, even if I just hear it, for, you know, if, if, you, if you're willing to record it, I think <laughs> people, you need to let others judge on how well you, you can sing this. Because I, I think if you enjoy it, and you, the way you yeah. said that then, I, you know, I'm the only one who can do a similar video call tonight, and 
I can see how much that makes you smile to, to the idea that the yeah. song, it, you know, pre-doing it, you're like, oh, I'm not sure if this is oh, going to work. I'm yeah. not sure if I can do it. But, 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 but upon doing so, you enjoy doing it. Yeah. And art should always be something you enjoy. Um, yeah. 100%. And so I, I, I would love to hear it. I'm, I'm going to do it. I'm going to give I it a go. I, I would love to hear <laughs> how this sounds. I don't think there's any wrong... You know, if you try something and it doesn't work, yeah. it doesn't work. Like, you know, do you know but, what? But, I heard um, a friend of mine covered um britney spears on the ook the other day and it sounded so good and it which was track? like oh oh now you're testing me toxic mm, i can't remember i literally have a brain like of a goldfish okay. so that's fine it was good whatever it was it was one of the popular ones and it was really good <laughs> It's just that, I don't know why that song came to mind. By the way, I just that that song sort of it's, it's a, some sort of subliminal messaging that's yeah. been going on and been planted in the back of my brain. Yeah. But, uh, you have sent us another uh, cover which we're going to play in just a few moments' time, and I actually Lovely. have a few questions about that specifically after Ooh. this. I've been holding on to pieces. So our first uploader tonight, Bethany Sullivan, is with us. She is a ukulele player, <laughs> a ukuleleist, a ukuleleist, uka uka. Ooh, a ukulature. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, make that a thing, please. Script it. Put it in calligraphy. TM. Uh, oop. <laughs> do, do, do it, absolutely. Try that, for sure. Now, uh, you, you, you've said about um, one of the songs that you've you've covered, um, put out one of the more recent covers you've put online, um, and only one friend recognised yeah. you know, the original as well. I'm going to be honest with you. I know I, f- I feel like I know this track that you sent us, but I don't know where it's from. So yeah. I can't work out if it's just a really well written song so that it feels familiar on the first listen, or if I do actually know where it's from and I just can't remember. So where is it from? <laughs> that is a very good question. Do you know what I think Excellent. it? <laughs> um, um, I think it was one of those ones that turned up on Spotify. But I've also got a weird feeling that it must be in like a film. It feels very end credity. Right. Yeah. This this is something I'm, I'm sure same? I was looking up earlier. There was a, I, I thought it's this is yeah because it's Julia Michaels and I know yeah. Julia Michaels and such and I yeah I couldn't work out if the title of the song was the same as the title of the film. Um, yeah. I don't remember seeing something earlier about it, but mm. I, I get and again that goes back to I mean we were just having a discussion about <laughs> um, like your husband's favourite song and and something yeah. I'm learning to sing at the moment and. You know, like sometimes you come across a song which is just so well written, you just think, mm-hmm. "I wish I'd written this." Yeah, like, <laughs> so I'm jealous right now. <laughs> Damn, someone else beat me to it. I was going to write that. I was. I was yeah. going to write that one next. Uh, but someone else has beaten me to it 45 years ago. Um, the other thing I was going to ask you, actually, I forgot to ask this last time you came on, and, and there's something quite lovely about an ukulele, um, the kind of vibe that it very much kind of conjures up in your mind when yeah. you hear it being played. But you know, have you ever like, wanted to play with a band? That would be a lot of fun, yeah. And I have played, because um, you know last time I was on and I was talking about the the guy who got me inspired and why I even picked it in the, up in the first place. Mm. Um, they have their own separate um, Instagram page, like, pretty recently. They have their own little band. There's, like, my three friends um, called the Yuki Chews, you guys. They're very, like, like vintage music but they all three of them play the uke and it's so good but i've like played with with those guys um a few times and it is a lot of fun when you're in a little group because you can make mistakes and it's like oh <laughs> no one knew that was me you just start miming <laughs> I can't remember what the words. <laughs> uh, remind us, though, please, Bethany, where people can find you, because you've got a lot of stuff you put online, uh, on YouTube and Instagram as well. Yeah. What, 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 are, what are we searching for to find you? Yeah, so on all of the platforms, I am Peaches and Covers. Um, I'm most active on Instagram. That's where I like to sort of spend my time. But obviously I post to Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, um, all of those as well, just so to spread, spread myself around a bit. <laughs> <laughs> and occasionally you know, websites is it to MySpace as well for the, for the retro listeners. <laughs> among, yeah. Is that still going? <laughs> we should definitely do something on MySpace, producer Adam, by the way, because that's, that, that's a, like the third reference this week about that oh, plat- wow. platform. Get on it. I don't know if anyone's checked in on Tom either. I hope Tom's doing okay. You know? <laughs> it's all right. Well, he was everyone's friend at the start, wasn't he? <laughs> um, 
It's lovely to have you back on the show, Bethany. Look after yourself. Have a great weekend uh, forthcoming. But before you do, Dash, uh, will you introduce your upload for us, please? Yes. So this song is called If the World Was Ending, and it's by Julie Michaels and J.P. Sachs. Bethany, lovely to have you on the show again. Thank you so much. much. And, uh, yeah, look after yourself. Have a great weekend. Thank you. you It's been lovely. See you. Take care. Bye. Bye for now. Thanks.